Health Canada issuing a warning about certain types of tabletop fire pots and burners. It wants the industry to stop selling them. It comes after a series of devastating accidents in recent months, two of which claimed lives. More from our consumer reporter, Michael O'Byrne. Graham and Patricia, tabletop burners are very popular backyard accessories. The type Health Canada is concerned about are fire pots and tabletop burners that use pourable fuels like ethanol. This is what can happen when ethanol is poured into a fire pot that is hot or still burning. It's called flame jetting, and it's exactly what happened this June in a Toronto backyard. It's just completely engulfed her in flames. Ruri Raposo watched in horror as his wife exploded into flames as she refueled a fire appliance like this one. Dr. Michelle McLaughlin died. I think about that night and it just, I, I can't believe it. I really can't, you know. And I look at my Michelle and I just, I don't know. I just... <laughs> the same thing happened in early September to Cindy Iannucci of Toronto. She survived but remains in hospital with severe burns. She's not recognizable. Um, her entire upper half of her body is severely burnt. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just taking it day by day. Flame jetting also claimed the life of Peterborough dentist Judith Byes. Health Canada wants manufacturers to stop selling fire pots using portable fuels. Lawsuits have been launched. This is an inherently dangerous product. Uh, you don't have social gatherings in backyards throughout Ontario and having a product that reacts in the way of a flamethrower or an explosion that has devastating consequences to people like Cindy. The fire marshal's office says no one should refuel fire pots unless they're sure the flames, which can be invisible, are completely out and the device is cooled to the touch. Two years ago, Australia issued an outright ban on many types of fire pots. While Canada hasn't followed suit, Health Canada now says that some alcohol-based containers and burners pose a, quote, danger to human health or safety.